Hey folks, this is Kyle coming at you with another video on a Wednesday morning, June 3rd of 2020. Now, I want to speak and I also want to allow things to unfold. I have things on my heart, but I always want to point back to God, to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I'm very careful. I don't want to use any platform to promote myself but my heart is on fire for the Lord and what you see is a lot of things going on that's also fulfilling everything in the Bible that's true and you'll see that the, and I've said it before in my previous videos that you're gonna see clear division there's division going on uh, and it's not between race and it's not between um blacks and cops it's actually between god and the world and there are people that follow the ways of the world and that there are people that are going to be following the ways of god and so when you live in love you're a child of god when you know love you know god but when you live in hate um and destruction killing stealing and destruction is the ways of satan and so if you're part of that, you're a child of Satan. But all people need is a trigger to come out of the woodworks and start looting and hurting and all sorts of things. Um, so human pe people by nature, carnally minded uh, by nature, um, as I was even thinking about today, like humans will tend to go in a certain direction um so they succumb to the their carnal nature and they become part of the ways of the world they get full of hate and bitterness and strife and divi and divisiveness um but there's a discipline and and a hope and a faith in seeking the lord seeking the love of the lord and following his ways and his righteousness and rather taking righteousness into your own hands, but realizing the justice that is in the Lord himself. And so the Lord is doing something right now. The Lord is here, um, but it's not obvious. That's the thing, it's not obvious, but it's becoming, it's, it's increasing all the more. But you'll see, you see, actually, the devil is is like a dog, my friend said. Um, when you back a dog in a corner, scared dog, um, he bites, right? So the devil is actually scared of what God is about to do or is doing right now. Anyways, here's the thing, here's the perspective. Jesus Christ has already won. The victory has already been done on the cross but you see, this is actually a Catholic um, uh, uh, cross that I received. But naturally, I didn't even do this. Jesus is not on the cross here. <laughs> and it's actually perfect symbolism because Jesus is not on the cross anymore. You see, the work is already finished. Jesus is actually sitting at the right hand of God. And God is still sitting on his throne. And the Holy Spirit is with us. Whoever is being touched by the Holy Spirit receives the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit will give you revelation and confirmation and peace and comfort and power and a sound mind, um, full of love, full of joy, uh, full of his righteousness. So I said before in the in previous videos that you're going to see more. Things are, gonna, are getting worse um, in the world. Troubles and tribulations. Jesus said it already. It's already prophesied. You're gonna, uh, there's gonna be troubles and tribulations, but fear not, for I have overcome the world. Jesus has overcome the world. And if you're a believer, as I'm a believer, we already have the victory. You see, it's a, it's a different mindset. Um, and we have to find our rest in God, but also give voice with God and partner with Him. Now that's the key thing, is really partnering with the Lord rather than the ways of the world. And so even behind the, the stealing, killing, and destruction, that's all Satan. 
and behind every every act of that in the, the in the visible spiritual realm there's actually a lot of demonic activity behind that however we're we're seeing there's going to be an acceleration of angelic activity in fact it's already been here and what is going to hit you you're either going to see it or it's going to be revealed to you you're going to realize it and others are going to be completely ignorant to it because they see things at face value for for example just looking at the news all day every day puts you in a place of fear and that's not god's will god doesn't put you in a place of fear you see god gives you a, the power of uh, the Holy Spirit, power, love, and sound mind. And so, just to reveal, because I'm a friend of Jesus, and he has revealed things to me. Um, and instead of trying to, trying to help you out, rather than navigating through all the different voices, I'll tell you what's what I've received and what's on my heart. Um, but I've heard that God's justice is going to be brought down the gavel of his justice is going to be established um and he's and and the other prophetic word is ready or not here he comes um the god god's glory is going to show up more and more you're going to see this but right now it's going to see as if the world is in chaos and um is is, is coming to an end but that's usually what happens in the dark um it feels like it, night falls but night falls right before the dawn breaks and the sun rises and the son of God is going to rise and you're going to see more and more. At least when you're a child of God and you have discernment. So what's really key here is discernment and rightly dividing what is truly good and what is truly evil. And you're either with Jesus or you're not with Jesus. You either have the blood of Jesus or you don't have the blood of Jesus. It's really important to get yourself right and aligned with God's will uh, and with God's heart, um, rather than uh, being pushed and pulled by the ways of the world. You're gonna see so much stuff on social media. I mean, it blows my mind how much is on the media, even though the media also exposes um, darkness, um, the media is also being used for the darkness. So we have to be very careful. But here's what's, here's what's um, prophetically happening. Project Goshen. Project Goshen is parallel to the Israelites in Egypt when God was judging Egypt, which is parallel to the world. Egypt was being judged and the Israelites were protected under the blood of the lamb sacrifice. The blood that was, uh, that was uh, sprinkled on their doorposts. Um, that was actually foreshadowing to the blood of Jesus. It's the blood of Jesus that protects us. So in Goshen, which is also the best of the land in Egypt at the time, um, when you're under the blood, the, the judgment of God passes over and God will prosper you um, as a child of God because God takes care of his children. But... The devil is beating everyone up in the world. And what, but the thing is, Satan also outplays um, his cards too much. And it actually is pushing us into the glory. It's pushing us into the, uh, into the Father's glory. And the Father's actually going to reveal his glory more and more around the whole world, wh whole world. But we have to be praying and worshiping and getting in tune with God rather than coming to a state of fear by just constantly watching the news. And so how is that helping? What's going to really help is intercession and prayer uh, and blessing others in unity, blessing your community and whatever is in your sphere of influence, even within your own family. But you're going to see more and more clear division. But the prophetic word is that the next seven years, is going to be a lot of troubles. The world is going to be at unrest. But for the children of God, we're called to come to his rest. We are to enter into his promises. So the time is now to align yourself up with the Lord uh, and with what God is doing. So just so you know, George Floyd was a Christian 
and he actually had a righteous indignation that was against um, people doing things such as these um, rioters are doing, killing, stealing, and destroying. Um, you can see previous videos of him uh, speaking against it, and he was an outward Christian. But what ha was happening actually is martyrdom. George Floyd was a martyr. And because that was publicized in the access of media, is is across the entire world. And so now it's stirring everything up. And so God is actually shaking everything up that is shakable. But because of, of my relationship in Jesus Christ, I'm not shaken by this. I'm just watching and praying and believing in the Lord, trusting in Him, and allow, allowing the Lord work through us. So, um, so this is, the, the, you gotta get into the Word and you'll actually see how true it is, especially at these times. So I encourage you to read the Word of the Lord. And that's why I actually post the Word of the Lord daily scriptures every single day almost um, because that's daily bread that's actually feeding you faith so that you can have a trust in our Heavenly Father rather than succumb to the ways of the world and to fear do not be conformed to the world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that's what God wants so anyways uh, I'm just gonna uh, say a prayer may the Lord bless you may the Lord keep you may the Lord uh, make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance and look upon you with favor and give you peace. And I'll see you next time.